how to draw an ant. Start with a circle for the head, a circle for the middle part, and a circle for the back. Give it antennas, even though real ant antennas don't exactly quite look like that. For a cartoon stingray, easiest thing on earth, just draw a diamond, make a little tail before you close it up, and give it some eyes on top. And those are two more sea creatures to add to your portfolio of cartoon sea creatures. First part is just the body, basically just shaped like that. There's the, so the tail rotor or whatever the helicopter people call it. That's basically it for your, oh, propeller. It's moving very fast, so make lots of motion lines. Yay, free helicopter ride. And there we have it. Dimitri Martin's act has gotten a lot funnier. <laughs> that artiste is Matt, and he teaches people how to draw on YouTube. Maybe he's left-handed and doesn't know it. <laughs> Why does painting still exist? I don't need an ease on a bunch of acrylic paint to remember what my girlfriend's tits look like. <laughs> That's what my iPhone's for. <laughs> Art is a scam. The Mona Lisa is not a masterpiece. It's a picture Leonardo da Vinci drew of a fat chick his drunk friend Carl brought home from a bar. <laughs> Fact. <laughs> And Andy Warhol became a household name after he painted one goddamn Campbell's soup can? And I find that disgusting. Mainly because I'm a progresso man. <laughs> sometimes you have to look at a piece of art for a long time to fully appreciate it. And sometimes you just need to glance at a poster for Katherine Heigl's new movie and know that art, along with her career, is circling the drain. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, the greatest living artist is the plastic surgeon that makes Courtney Cox still appear semi-bangable. <laughs> There's no such thing as a starving artist. You're starving because you're not good at art. But instead of telling Matt to turn his smock around and get an actual job, we brought him to L.A., where everyone's an artist, for this week's Web Redemption. You just want to make this sad tree a little more depressing. And what better way to do that than with a little bit of blue? A lot of people were hung in this tree. You can just tell by its spirit. A lot of hate. And look at that. Look at that. You make that tree nice and sad. Maybe put a little bird up there, huh? <laughs> Maybe a pelican? <laughs> That's not a sad bird, is it? No. We're gonna put a dead bird. Hey, Danny. What the f man? I'm trying to paint goddamn happy trees and you're sneaking up on an artist? Little respect. Little respect, peer to peer. Are you an artist? Yes. Professionally trained? No. So you've never been to art school? Correct. Okay. That's all the questions I have. What is art? Um, anything that somebody finds aesthetically pleasing is art to them. What are your strengths and weaknesses as an artist? I can take anything and make it look good. I can make anything look like what I want it to. My weaknesses... Helicopters? Helicopters, pretty much. Please explain to me what those videos were. I was trying to make a couple quick bucks, and there's a production studio that said, make as many very fast clips as you can, and anybody can be an artist. So I just want to- Do you really believe that? Because I can't draw at all, and I never have been able to draw. I was probably thinking of you when I made the video. Yeah, because I'm one of the few people that watched that video and was mildly impressed. And there you go. What got you interested in art in the very beginning? My dad's an art teacher. Um, oh my goodness. How ashamed is he? Being that it was meant to teach, I think he would find them to be very helpful. Homosexuality is a rampant in the art community, is it not? I, that's the rumor. What's your favorite medium to work with? I like drawing. I love 3D art, too. I like clay and wood carving. With a knife or a chainsaw? You ever see those people? Yeah, those are awesome. Do you ever take ceramics? That's actually what I do full time right now. What, what kind of stuff do you do in ceramics? I make vases, bowls, cups, jewelry. Bongs? No bongs. Do you have the, uh, the foot wheel? <laughs> no, no. No? Does anybody, electric. Do, that doesn't exist anymore? No, it, it, some people will use it, but it's kind of like having a kick pedal for your coffee maker. Like, well, first, I don't think there was ever a kick pedal right, for, it's a like for a coffee maker. It's like for a sewing machine. Everybody, Thank you. you know. Thank you for changing that. All right, it's clear to me that you are a talented artist whose work has just been slightly misunderstood. That's why tonight we're gonna have a gallery opening. Really? Yes, we are. I hope you have something nicer to wear. Matt. Hey, Daniel. Hope you're enjoying your opening. Thank you so much for coming. My pleasure. I'm gonna chat up a few prospective buyers, generate a little buzz. Want you to have a glass of wine, take the edge off. Thanks, your night. I see you're admiring a good one. This one's called Jessica Simpson. Couldn't think of a more accurate portrayal. Enjoy.
Mm. Work of art. We changed the word art to arf. Did you enjoy this? Mm. It's a commentary on the nature of mass transit and how it enslaves us all. It just looks like a bus. Jew. We called this one September 10th because we were all so innocent that day. This artist is clearly obsessed with Jessica Simpson's obesity. You should buy this. All right, Matt, I've got these pretentious assholes all lubed up for you. Now it's time for you to show them what you're really capable of. Let's do this. Okay. Attention. I give you Matt. Good luck drawing this helicopter, kids. I'm gonna start the bidding at $100,000. I'm gonna take $50. All right, we're gonna have to go with plan B. That's my favorite part about art openings, how horny they make me. 